Hi everyone! Today I will share with you how to make this really moist and delicious banana bread. One of my family's favorite recipes. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and let's get started! Let's see if you can figure out the secret to making this moist banana bread. So first I have about seven bananas. Some are pretty brown and some are just starting to turn, but they're pretty soft. First in a separate bowl, peel all the bananas. Then take a fork and mash those bananas really well. And if you don't have a whisk, go ahead and just use your fork. You don't need any fancy equipment for this recipe. The results will be the same and it will be very delicious. You'll see. In a separate bowl, put one and one third cups of flour, quarter teaspoon salt, quarter teaspoon bacon powder, half teaspoon bacon soda. Now go ahead and mix all these dry ingredients really well together so that they're blended really well before you mix them with the other ingredients. In another bowl, put six tablespoons of butter. I usually like to use salted butter. Now add half a cup of sugar. I'm only doing half a cup because those bananas are very ripe and they're gonna be pretty sweet. Now go ahead and mix all those ingredients really well. If you don't have a whisk or a handy mixer, go ahead and use it just the way that I'm doing it. It works just the same. Now break three eggs into the bowl with the sugar and the butter and blend really well. Mix really well to ensure that the sugar is melted and it's not too grainy. It doesn't really matter if it's grainy at all because the end product will be the same anyway. Now go ahead and mix the bowl with the egg mixture into the bowl with the flour mixture and stir it really well. Stir it in really good. Now take the bowl with the mashed up banana mixture and mix it with the bowl with the flour and the other ingredients so that everything is combined into one bowl. Now go ahead and mix all these ingredients really well. You can fold it or you can just go ahead and stir. It doesn't really matter as long as it gets really mixed in there and there are no lumps really. Okay, great. Now that it's nicely mixed, I'm going to go ahead and get the pan, grease it, and set the oven to 350 degrees and bake for about approximately uh, 45 minutes an hour. I find that it's easier to use butter to grease my pan, but you can also use a nonstick spray. Make sure it's greased all over so it doesn't stick to the pan when you're trying to get it out, when it's finished. So now I'm going to get ready to pour this mixture into this pan. You can use a spatula to get everything off the sides. I am actually using a 9.5 by 5 inches loaf pan, but you can go ahead and use whatever pan you have. So now I'm going to pop this into the oven and bake for about 45 to 60 minutes. You need to check it maybe around the 45 minutes mark to see whether or not it's uh, cooking well. Take a toothpick and stick it into the middle and if it comes out clean, then it's ready to be taken out. Now let's get this banana bread out of this pan. Wow, look at how golden brown it is. Now let's cut this banana bread and let me show you how moist this bread is. The secret to this banana bread being this moist is because I use very, very ripe bananas, almost very black bananas. So 
So not only did it lower the sugar content into the banana mixture, it actually helps to make it a little sweeter and makes it taste like a real banana bread. So give my family banana bread recipe a try and let me know in the comments below how you like it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.